Speaking of our weather here in South Florida on this Sunday, let's go to Jennifer Correa with a look at the forecast. Jennifer. Hey, Steve. Good morning, South Florida. So the good news is we're starting off with uh, much nicer conditions, a bit drier this morning. There's still a few showers, though, but not a stormy morning. So we're getting a little bit of sunshine, nice and quiet for the lower keys. There are a few showers to the south and even more so south of the keys, uh, closer to northern Cuba over the Florida Straits. There's a lot of activity there, but so far staying away from the keys for now. 82 degrees across the board, at least for Miami, Fort Lauderdale and Key West, so also warmer today since we don't have that much rain out there. And we even see the blue skies behind the clouds, also more sunshine as well. Beautiful start to the day right there, live view out of Fort Lauderdale. Now temperatures along the coast are in the low 80s, but inland temperatures in the upper 70s, so 78 degrees in Weston and Kendall. Notice the wind mainly out of the east. It's relatively light right now, up to 10 miles per hour, but that breeze should increase up to 15 miles per hour. Now the steering flow is still quite brisk. Look how quickly these showers are moving from east to west. So most of the activity developing offshore and of course they're going to cut away quickly over land and we've had a few showers already. One little lone shower dissipating near Coral Springs and then a new one, a new set of showers actually developing offshore. These are going to be an impact anywhere between Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach and Lighthouse Point. Farther south we're getting a round of showers again rolling into North Miami Beach at the moment. Just some light drizzles in Southern Dade. A hefty shower over Marathon, but that should come to an end in the next 15 minutes as it pushes towards uh, the Gulf side of Marathon. All right, so afternoon storms are still expected later on today. This is how it's going to play out. So we do have that strong easterly breeze and the future weather model shows us that the showers become more widespread. So we'll see more activity through the late morning hours. By 11 a.m., this is what it might look like out there. So pretty active, especially between the Upper Keys and Broward. Then as we head uh, towards three o'clock, it starts to wind down. I think we'll have a little bit of a break around uh, the late afternoon into the early evening hours. However, it starts to ramp up again as we head into the nighttime hours, which is going to lead us into a stormy Monday morning out there. Now we're also watching this area right here, and this actually could bring us uh, some heavy rainfall later on in the week between Tuesday and Wednesday. And that's actually an area that we're watching also for potential development once it gets into the Gulf. Steve.